Hi, welcome back to Touchboards. Uh, today we want to show you the new Plus Copy Boards. Uh, what I have behind me right here is actually the C20W Capture Board. Uh, physically, this is the same as the N20 Copy Board, except for the surface. The N20 has a slightly different surface, but other than that, they're the same. And uh, we're going to show you how they work. A couple differences between the older generation boards and these. Uh, this board is much thinner. The board's a lot lighter, so it's much easier for someone to hang up. You know, just have two people, just for the overall size, but it is much lighter uh, to hang on the wall or on the optional floor stand. As you can see, this is on the floor stand. Also, the uh, scan speed is faster on these newer boards, so it's going to be less time waiting uh, for your scans. So basically what the copy board does is you write on it, and you have two surfaces to write on. There is one behind this, and we'll show you how that works in a bit. Uh, but you write on it, and it's going to save everything that you write. Now you've got a few different options as far as saving goes. I want to show you how that works. Uh, with these new boards, you can save onto your network uh, or have it be accessed uh, through your network. Uh, the older generation boards did not do that. You can also save to a USB thumb drive. You can print to an actual printer, which is uh, on the floor stand below here. And you can also save to your computer. So uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit how this works. We're going to just write a message up here. These markers are supplied with the board. So let's say I finished our meeting here. I want to save this uh, to print out for everyone. You want to save it electronically onto a USB flash drive. What we're going to do is just plug it into the USB port in the front of the board right there. And uh, it'll just take a minute to read it. <clears throat> now uh, on this control panel here you have a few options. You have a color print, a black and white print, network, and save. And in this case, we're just going to hit save. And as you can see now, the screen surface is rotating around. As it does that, it's going to scan everything that I wrote. And then it's just going to save it back onto that thumb drive. So once it's done, you'll see the little uh, display here it's kind of circling around. That means it's working. Once that's finished, it's just going to save that copy back to the thumb drive. We can unplug it, walk off with it, and be all set. All right, so the board is finished writing uh, to the thumb drive. So then we can just unplug it. Now the board is set to PDF mode, so I have a PDF of that writing that was behind me saved onto here. You can also save to JPEG or bitmap, uh, and they'll save a little bit quicker. Now this is the second writing surface, so if we wanted to, we could continue writing on here. Uh, and I'll do that just to save time. All right, so this is going to be test number two, and here I'm going to show you how to print to a printer. Uh, we have a printer sitting right here on our floor stand. It uh, doesn't have to go there. You could have it on the other side of the room if you want, but it just has to be plugged into the USB port uh, on the other side of the board here. Uh, so for your printer, you have two options. You have a color print button and a black and white print button. Since this printer is black and white, I'm going to hit black and white. But you can use that if you want to just save your color ink or you didn't write in color, you know, just hit black and white. So it's going to scan this again. And then uh, once it's completed, we will see a page coming out the bottom. Now, as you can see, the screen surface is rotating around. Uh, this is the original message I wrote on here. So it's just coming back around again. So uh, again, you do have two complete sides that you can write on before you need to erase anything. The printer's printing now. All right, so here's the printout from our printer. As you can see, it says touch boards test number two, uh, just as I wrote it on the board. And we actually have uh, one of the features uh, turned on on this board, and that's a header and footer feature. So we have our touch boards logo up here, and then we have a capture board C20 series down below. So you can set this up to have your company logo and a message, phone number or something underneath there. And that can print out on every page or digital copy that you produce. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is test number three. And we're going to save this image directly onto a PC. And this time it's going to be in color. So we got our writing up here. Uh, we're just going to come over here. We're going to hit save. It's going to scan. And uh, our computer's currently hooked up. That's this cable in the corner here. And it's going to save it right onto the computer for us. And there you have it. We have a PDF, Touchboards test number three. So now it's saved onto your computer. You can do anything you want with it. You want to print it, email it, do whatever. You got it right there, ready to go. Uh, so what I want to do now, we're going to change the settings on our uh, board uh, through the PC. And we're going to show you how we can save it onto the network. So we're going to call this test number four. We put in the IP address for the board. And uh, this is the page that comes up. And this is going to allow you to change all the settings. Uh, it also is where you'll be able to access files that are saved to the board. Uh, so when we say save it onto your network, it's really saving it onto the board. Then you can just punch in the IP address from any web browser, and you'll be able to access that uh, or access those files. Uh, you can also set up an FTP server uh, to save to. but. Uh, we're just going to show you your basic uh, saving it onto the board and access by IP. The board's going to reboot itself. So we're going to just turn it back on there. Uh, we got all our writing up here ready to go. So now we hit the network button. And it's going to scan it just like it's done all the times before. Uh, except now it's going to go through the Cat5 cable uh, right into our network. And uh, you're going to be able to pull it up on any PC, as long as you put in that uh, IP address. The board finished writing. Uh, I'm just going to refresh our list here. And as you see, there it is. That's the scan we just made. And uh, you're able to pull it up right here on the screen. And uh, you might see there's a download button right here. So if you want to download it to your computer, you can. And, uh, and that's it. So as you can see, it's in color. See the TouchBoards logo in color. It says TouchBoards test in black, number four in green, and network in blue. So it's just that easy. So in a matter of minutes, you can print in several different formats, several different ways, and uh, you'll have everything that you've written down in your meeting.